Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today's reaction is going to be very interesting. So let me ask you a question. Uh, you all like vanilla ice cream, but do you know what is the uh, what is the compound for which you get the flavor of vanilla? So as a chemist, I think you should know, and it it is the vanillin. Okay. Now, can you tell me what is the structure of vanillin? Okay, few of you can uh, can be able or you may not, but as a chemist you should know it. So, uh, this is the structure of vanillin. Okay. So in interview, uh, this question is frequently asked like uh, what is the structure of vanillin and how can you synthesize this molecule. So this molecule can be synthesized by using a very popular name reaction and this is actually our today's topic. And the reaction is nothing but the well known and very popular name reaction that is Reimer Timen reaction. Okay, so what is basically a Reimer Timen reaction is? So, Reimer Timen reaction is a transformation of an L uh, phenol to uh, ortho for orthoformyl orthoformyl phenol or you can you can say uh, uh, ortho for orthoformyl phenol okay orthoformyl phenol you can say uh, so this is the reaction called Reimer Timen reaction and uh, what is the reagent the reagent is reagents are uh, chloroform and sodium hydroxide okay so if you treat a phenol uh, with chloroform uh, and sodium hydroxide you will end up with this orthoformylation product so this ortho position gets formulated now what is the mechanism so in our reaction we have chloroform okay and also we have sodium hydroxide present now what sodium hydroxide can do it can deprotonate this uh, this uh, hydrogen to get this carbonyl now why this now you, if you treat uh, for example methane with uh, sodium hydroxide this reaction will not happen or if you uh, treat with say methyl chloride with sodium hydroxide this reaction will not happen so in this case why this reaction is happening because the minus i effect the negative electron withdrawing effect of this three chlorine atoms make this carbon unstable this is why this step is occurring okay now what it can do another one chloride can uh, leave to give this species called carbon so carbon is basically a six state carbon where uh, the carbon has only six electrons uh, two less than its octet so this will be formed in the reaction medium now uh, there is also phenol is present there and you may know that phenol is acidic enough that it can be deprotonated to give peroxide anion okay so you have with your in your hand this peroxide anion and the preformed the dichlorocarbene okay 
now what can happen is that this phenoxide anion can attack on this dichlorocarbene to give this intermediate okay so sorry so this carbon cl cl and hydrogen okay so there will be a minus if this accept a electron it will be negatively charged now what can happen this can go like this and you get this okay so in the reaction medium there are proton sources are there like uh, this is this proton is uh, releasing in the reaction so this group can be protonated to give you uh, this so in some books you may find that uh, they are showing that these negative charges taking 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 this hydrogen but i think this is not the um, right way of showing it you, you may show it in leiden or peter sykes but this is not the right way because there are many possibilities this uh, that this particular uh, proton will be abstracted by this negative center it is very unlikely there are many other uh, centers uh, and uh, you may also find logically that for taking this uh, it has to attack on its uh, sigma star and this sigma star are not perfectly aligned for SN2 reaction so this is very unlikely okay so I suggest you not to uh, show like this so now what can happen that again this oxygen lone pair can push here and it can kick off this uh, another chlorine to give this okay now what can happen is that uh, sodium hydroxide the hydroxide can attack here okay so it will give O minus and here Cl and here OH. Now there are two possibilities, two uh, there are two uh, reasonable mechanisms. Either uh, this lone lone pair can uh, sorry this negative charge can push and this goes out to give you this. Okay. So then it automerize to give you the formulated compound or you can show this uh, by other way also uh, you can show it like uh, another more so you can show it like this proton exchange can occur okay so proton exchange occurs and o minus cl so this is a tetrahedral intermediate and it can collapse in this way okay so so any of the two represent representations are acceptable and you can uh, represent by either of these two ways so this is the uh, mechanism of primer thevenin reaction now uh, let's go back to our first molecule that is vanillin this is the molecule which we have to prepare okay and so we can start from here which OME and if we treat it with uh, CHCl3 and uh, NaOH we will get this uh, molecule now uh, I show I have shown you in the previous mechanism that formulation uh, 
also i forgot to mention that formylation of any unsubstituted phenol formylation of any unsubstituted phenol generally give the ortho product okay and not the meta product okay so it may form but very less yield this is the major product so formylation but in this case you you are, you are uh, see uh, watching that uh, the formulation is occurring on para position so you may know uh, you may, you, are, you are also familiar that uh, generally uh, the, um, the oxygen the in the phenol molecule the para position is more nucleophilic so generally reaction occurs at para position but in this case for this rimativen reaction Uh, it is found that ortho position in the ortho position the reaction is uh, reaction occurs and uh, so if one of the ortho position is blocked like in this case then reaction may occur in the para position and another interesting factor is that so another interesting factor is there that actually uh, the attack also occurs from the para position it is not like that uh, attack only occurs from ortho position attack also occurs from para position but uh, the ortho ortho product is more stable and uh, that the occur actual uh, the attack actually occur in the para position is shown by this example that if we have this compound and if we uh, do the rimer timen reaction on this we will get this product sorry we will get this product but we will also get a product unexpected product we can say sorry will also get a an unexpected product so this we got we will also get this unexpected product so how can and this is around 40% 40% we get this product so how can we for um, how can we explain the formation of this product so uh, this is our molecule so we represent it by phenoxide now we have this uh, dichlorocarbene in our reaction medium and that we are saying that attack can also occur from the para position and if attack here occurs from the para position so we get methyl then cl cl this minus okay now in the previous case we have intermediate like this okay sorry we have intermediate like this uh which after that we get compound like this okay see here this uh, proton is there it can be it can leave and it can uh, get get back its aromaticity but in this case it is not proton it is a methyl group and that's why it cannot get back its aromaticity so after this step it it cannot go back to its aromatic structure so when we do our cup we will end up with this product so this reaction uh, proves that um, the react uh, attack also occurs from the para position so this is the uh, mechanism and that uh, 
all the details of the Riemann-Tiemann reaction. Uh, so this is not a very complicated reaction and its mechanism is uh, quite interesting and hope you guys uh, like this video so uh, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel.